Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today is May 5th, 2022, and today Chanel has released their 23C Cruise Collection fashion show on their website. So I'm going to watch it with you guys and have some reactions and see what's in the collection. Before we get started, a little background on the seasons. C stands for cruise. Cruise is usually the first collection of the year, and it usually drops around the end of the previous year, around the holidays. So this collection should drop towards the end of this year, 2022. If you're not familiar with the season letters and what they mean, I'll throw up a little chart on the screen here. But cruise collection will be the first collection of the year. Okay, so first off the bat, we have this really nice red ensemble. It's a tweed suit, and I see that they have a white bag, a white pearl crush bag. So if you like white bags, there'll be white in 23C for sure. Generally, that's a really popular color in 23C. So next up, we have this black ensemble. If you have a motorcycle and you need a Chanel helmet, there you go, right there. It's very like race car driver-esque or like when they go into the pit and they're gonna change the tires. Here's another red ensemble and I see a little, I wish I wish they would do close-ups of the bags. Let me know what you think, but I, I'm always trying to find. Oh, here we have like a little lanyard card holder. So if you are into those, they'll have that this collection. And then I see another bag, another crossbody bag. This is a new bag. I haven't seen this design before. So that's interesting. I don't know if I really like it though. Here's another little mini bag. It looks like a little metallic number kind of situation, um, but lots of tweed. And then I also see, did you see that bowling bag? There, here it is. So I, I feel like they're bringing big bags back. And if you like a big bag, if you have a jumbo, if you want to buy a jumbo, I would say now is a good time. They're priced really well on the pre-love market. I know big bags are gonna be coming back. Um, so yeah, now we have this other little number and it has like a gold camellia, that's cute. Okay, lots of belts. I see lots of like waist belts with like an, you know, like here we have one of the camellia or the double C's. I think these will probably be popular. There's like a pinkish reddish bag there. This is a Lots of sequins. Yes, I prefer my first EP too. Yeah, maybe I Lots of like bold feminine jewelry too. If you're into costume jewelry, I think this is going to be a really good collection for you. Lots of interesting pieces. Lots of unique pieces. Red seems to be a really big color this season. Oh, that t-shirt. If that is a t-shirt or a bodysuit, I think that is going to be really popular. Here we have another really big bag, good for, I guess, travel. But I think, yeah, here's another one, another big bag. So big bags, I think, are gonna be big this season. And they're really into the black and white and the red. This is, this is cute. Another really big, bold necklace with the double Cs. If you like bold statement jewelry, again, this collection is going to be for you. And then also sequins. I see a lot of really pretty jackets with tweed and sequins, which I'm a big fan of. And here we have a little ball bag and it has the checkered print. I mean, it's cute. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the ball bags, but what do you guys think? Let me know. That's a cute sweater, really like it with the different check patterns and then I think it has like a, a really pretty like weave, I like that as well. Ooh, lots of pretty flowy dresses. Again, you see these belts. I think these belts will probably be popular as well, um, especially because they're so versatile. I think if you if you like anything that you see in this collection, I would reach out to your essay now um, just to see you know if there's any reserved lists and just to let them know that you're available and interested. But lots of flowy dresses. I love a good flowy dress in the summertime. What about you guys? Another Chanel bold necklace with the CCs. This one is a little bit higher on the neck, so it would look really cute with a dress. Oh, I really like this tweed. This tweed is pretty. I wonder if they'll have any bags in that tweed. This tweed coat is gorgeous. I love it. It has a little bit of sparkle too. And that dress in the back, the tube top dress, really cute. Love that.
This is a cute top and a flowy blouse. I'm not really seeing the bag though, but they have some pretty gold bangles. If you like a gold bangle, there is a nice, it's more of like a cuff, I would say. It's cute. It seems like there's like a, a novelty bag. Oh, I really like this tweed. That is a pretty tweed. Oh, and the pink behind it. Love the pink. I've been like super into pink lately. I used to be huge into pink and then I think I like moved away from it and now I'm, I'm coming back. But in the back here, let me see what's coming up. Love, love this white tweed jacket. So pretty. I can only imagine it with like a pair of black pants or jeans. So, so gorgeous. Now we have like another little lunchbox bag coming up. I can't tell if it's like a tweed or or raffia. Lots of novelty bags. This is like a little tennis racket sort of bag, like a tennis case. That's cute if you like tennis. I don't know if it's something that I would buy, but you know. Oh, here we have like the big tennis racket case on the back in pink. Oh my gosh. Love, 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 love this pink look. So pretty. And the shorts are really cute. Oh, next up we have another vanity case. If you like vanity cases, there will be some in the 23C collection, as well as that belt, another really pretty waist belt. That's a new seasonal bag. I haven't seen that before. The top is cute with sequins. I'm really loving all of the, the tweed ensembles that they have. This one is cute with all of the interlocking CCs throughout. Oh, and another one of these t-shirts. That t-shirt is going to be, I think, a hot item. Um, if you like it, I would tell your essay now because I, I can totally picture it. It's gonna fly. It's gonna be reserved. It's gonna fly. Next up, we have like another little, I think, is that another novelty bag? But we have this really pretty pearl adjustable belt, it looks like, so that is a nice, belt if you want to dress up your outfit a little bit more. Another little tiny micro bag. This, this look is okay. Kind of reminds me of a clown a little bit. I, I, I don't know. Oh, those earrings. I feel like those earrings are going to be popular for sure. Some more sequins. They're really loving the sequins this season, which I love. I love good sparkling number so I'm not complaining that looks like a cute little seasonal bag I can't tell if it has a top handle or if she's just holding it a certain way but those sunglasses that she was wearing were also really nice again we see this adjustable pearl belt and that necklace that necklace I think is going to be popular more novelty bags that kind of looks like a little poker chip which I guess makes sense it's in Monte Carlo so maybe that has a tie into the theme Love this tweed as well. Such a pretty tweed. The shoes are, the shoes are cute. Um, I'm not really seeing a good picture of the shoes though, so I'll have to look and see afterwards if there's any like press photos or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not a fan of these bodysuit like. They had these in like one of the Mete de Art collections. I don't know if it was last year or the year before, and it was in tweed and it kind of looks like a little bit like a diaper. I don't know. This I'm not a fan of. This is, it's a little too busy for me. Oh, it looks like, is that like a blue or a green? That bag looked really interesting. And I think that's like a micro pearl bag. That looks really cute. Have to see if there's more press photos of it though. Another number, again, with the Chanel waist belt. That's going to be a popular item, I think, as well. Another what looks to be maybe like a, a bucket bag or a vanity case bag or maybe like a combo. Some sort of like toiletry travel type of inspired bag. This is cute. But I think the one behind it, yes, loving this look. I love the jacket. I love the dress. 
This necklace here that she's got going on is gorgeous. Oh, the bride. I wonder how excited the models get to be when they are selected as the bride. I'm sure very excited because it is, I think, a special moment for a model in a Chanel show to be chosen as the bride. Love this pink. I love this short jacket with the sequins. It's so pretty. This is cute. This is okay. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of a tablecloth or like a 70s sofa a little bit. Again with the belt here in green. This one has sort of like a little chain or something, a little design to give it a little oomph. I don't know. Another pink belt. So I guess these pink belts are going to be, or I guess the waist belts, I should say, are going to be very big in the collection because they come in different colors and sort of different variations and styles. This also feels like it's a really long show. Like, there's a lot of pieces this season. What do you guys think? So here come the models again for a final look. And as we can see, there are those really pretty big earrings that I think will be very popular. The Pearl Crush bag. There's, you know, a motorcycle helmet. Do you need a motorcycle helmet? But lots of caps too. If you like a designer cap, there are plenty to choose from in this collection. Some mini bags as well. Lots of novelty bags it looked like. And then let's see what else. I think the tweeds this season are really pretty. I really like them if you are into a tweed jacket or a tweed bag. I'm hoping maybe some of the bags will come out in some of these tweeds because they're really, really pretty tweeds. Again, lots of novelty bags, tennis racket, love that pink number, that pink ensemble, lots of big, bold fashion costume jewelry. If you love the costume jewelry from Chanel, looks like they're going to have a lot of really great pieces in 23C, pieces that I'm kind of excited for. I'm not usually a big costume jewelry fan, but there's a lot of, co oh, there's another 22 backpack, so I guess that bag is sticking around. Do you like that bag? Let me know. I feel like... It's been growing on some people. For other people, it still looks like a trash bag. I heard that they were going to make it like the new 19 bag. So the fact that it's in this collection again, maybe that's the case. Maybe it's gonna stick around for a while. Maybe it's more popular than we thought it was gonna be. Who knows? But there is that number again I like, those belts, lots of sequins, lots of tweed. Overall, I think it's a really pretty collection. I think it lives up to the name of the Cruise Collection, which I think is usually a fan favorite. Lots of people love the Cruise Collection. And they tend to have really nice, fun, bright colors. So I think that is the case. I'm loving the pink from this season. So I'm hoping that there's going to be a lot of great pink bags. I really love the t-shirt. The one with this, the Chanel and sort of like the stripes that came in black and white. I really, really like that. I'm not normally like a designer t-shirt, spend all that money on a designer t-shirt kind of person, but I don't know. I'm really, uh, I, might, I might do it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens when the reserve lists and everything come out for the collection because I don't know. It might be a hard to get item and if it, that's the case, you know, I'm not going to like break my neck trying to get a t-shirt. Also, who knows how much it's going to be, but really cute. Definitely can see that being sort of like a standout popular collector's item from this collection. So that's it for the show for the 23C Cruise show. It was in Monte Carlo. I thought it was a great setting for the show. I loved how it was by the ocean and you could see the beautiful hotel and buildings in the background. I would love to get invited to a Chanel show one day, but you know, we can all dream, right? So let me know if there was anything in this collection that stood out to you, if you had any favorites, if there's anything in this collection that you are going to be texting your essay about, let me know. I can't wait to hear your thoughts and opinions, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.